beautiful morning. Is it recording? Yes. Alright, welcome back to the Hazy Gabe Show. I'm Hayden. It's Gabe. Really? It's Gabe. Kind of fun, you're the one stop. What's up? It's your boy Gabe here, and I'm Hayden. We're back for another sunny day out here. Sitting on the rooftop, thought we'd enjoy a day, and we thought we'd bring you some summer beers that we enjoy that we think are perfect for the spring more springtime, summertime. Yeah, love it. So we're gonna get into them and let you guys know what we think. We're pretty excited about these ones. We handpicked all of these, so hopefully we will like these a little bit more than the last ones we tried. Oh, the old IPA shootout. That was our last video. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Check it's, it out. There'll be a link somewhere. It's pretty awesome. So I guess we're gonna get started here. Um, you wanna go first or do you want me to go uh, first? Yeah, I mean, whatever gets us done, because it is hot out here. Um, I don't know, probably it's the Modern Frontier beer. The Modern Frontier? Yeah. Summer Blonde, okay. Light, bready, and toasted a notes. Summer Blondes down, down there too. <laughs> <laughs> Light, bready, and toasted notes with a soft, hot finish. Okay, pour it up. Made, it, made in Oklahoma City, dude. Whoa, how people are gonna find us. Oh, well, you know we're famous now. All right. All right, guys, let's see what we what think. So, by? Crafted by Vanessa House, never heard of it. I've never heard of Vanessa House, actually. There's a lot of breweries around here. and That's weird, I wonder yeah, what's that. Honestly, you guys can't really tell, but one of these, uh, let's see, I think it's this one, is this Stone Cloud? Yeah. This this brewery is actually right there. Yeah, like right, the street. right down the street. Um, this one here, Anthem, is just right over here, isn't it? And this is like in Germany or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get to the lighting, Google. This is kind of like our, this is like going to be our, uh, what do we call it? Our, uh, Control. Our control. This is our yeah, control. it's like the classic summer beer, right? It's yeah. in the name. The Good summer stuff. Summer Sandy. Summer Sandy. Summer Sandy. Summer Sandy. You can't go wrong. Here's what the can looks like. In case you can see, can't see. So let's All see right. It go. Smells like Bud Light. Yeah, that tastes, that tastes like I'm at the pool. That's actually pretty good. It's like light, refreshing. Dude, I could drink that. How did they describe it? Light, bready, and toasted notes with a soft hop finish. What does bready taste like? Mm, this tastes bready. <laughs> like this sandwich. tastes like white bread. We need to get some like some of those other flavored beers and put them together and make like a ham sandwich. Remember how we were at that one? Maybe we can make a ham sandwich beer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today we've got the uh, the French Hazen Gabe, <laughs> the Hazen Gabe French ham and cheese croissant <laughs> beer. <laughs> croissant. Uh, the croissant. Yeah, but I know I could definitely. It's pretty good. I mean, what's the alcohol percentage on it? Five percent. It smells like Bud Light, but it these are tastes way better than Bud Light. In, in my opinion, these are way better than the IPAs that we tried last time. But I'm not an IPA fan. Where do you go to the next one? What'd you think, man? Like, what? Like, we don't like the rating. Like, we don't really want to do the rating scale. I don't think. But like, do you want to do stars? Maybe? How many stars would you give that? If you're gonna review it, we could do like smash or pass. Would you smash that or pass that? I would smash that yeah, one. Yeah, smash that too. Right. But it's not my favorite. Mm. Well, so. you haven't tried the rest yet. <laughs> oh, love your stuff, tried. <laughs> Have you had this one? No, let's go. Let's, let's go, go for it. it. Let's try it. So this one here is the Anthem OK Pills. It's uh, to me, it's very good. It's like almost. That's the one you get at McNally's every now and again, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's kind of got like almost. You'll smell it too. It's kind of like uh, apple juice, almost. Have you been looking for a clean beer that you can drink day in and day out, month in and month? Man, they know us. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of a cool can. I suppose. I like it. <sighs> smells good. good. It takes me back to my childhood, that apple juice. It's apple juice? Taste that? Like kind of fruity? I mean, it's good, but it don't taste like apple juice to me. Really? I can kind of see it, maybe. Like I see juice, but I think like pear juice, juice again. Yep. Pear yep. juice boxes, grape and apple. <laughs> yeah, I've never had pear juice. I don't know where you buy your freaking pear juice, but I've never even tried it. Like white juice. pear juice? Maybe it's white grape juice. I can't remember. Smash or pass? That's smash. Well, you obviously would smash. Yeah, I like this one. That's it's one delicious. of the pilsners you get all the time. If you see this at a party, pick it up, chug it, rock and roll. This is my new fave. So this one wasn't bad, guys. I'm not going to lie. I can get behind this one. If it's in a cooler, I'm probably going to pick it out of depending on what else is in there. And it looks cool. I mean, yeah, the can is dope. I like the can. You can't tell it's like a, a sticker. 
the can wins the contest for coolest. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Something. That one's pretty dope. Stone Cloud. Stone Cloud makes cool, cool beers, though. This Sunshine Laundry thing. And yeah. That's where the brewery is. It's right there. Right, 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 right down the road. Oh yeah, that's. Wait, look. Oh shit. That's our view. You guys can't tell, but this can. This beer is what we're. Is this is what we're doing next. Oh, All right. Um, I really want to try the Sam Adams one. Kind of. Wicked easy. The wicked easy. It ain't easy. It says cheesy. light, light and hazy lager. This was actually brewed specifically for me, the hazy lager. So I mean, I called and them e up. An easy drinking beer wasn't enough for us at Samuel Adams, so we made it wicked easy. We'll see if you taste these citrus, these citrus fruits with some hops. Uh, this can's pretty cool too, especially for being Samuel Adams. Like, I wouldn't expect them to have like super cool artwork on their cans. I don't drink a lot of Sam Adams. I like the Boston Lager, believe it or not. A lot of people. Isn't that like their go their main beer, like their go-to beer? I think so. I think it's like their. They also have like staple. My dad used to like to go to Outback a lot, and they have Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, they yeah, have. Yeah, sounds like your dad. The Oktoberfest, uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> uh, you guys don't want to know. The Sam Adams Oktoberfest, and it was pretty good. Like honestly, dude, this one smells fruity. AF. This one reminds me of, um, that's interesting. It reminds me of one of those IPAs we tried last time, just not quite as bitter. Yeah, it's like a softer IPA kind of. If you like the fruitiness of an IPA, but you don't want that bitter. Which one was it? Shoot, I don't remember. I've tried a lot of beers since then. Oh, the IPA. Uh, we tried a lot. Anyway, one of the IPAs we tried, this to me tastes- Everything but oranges? Everything around with orange? No. That one was kind of hazy. Maybe. It might have been that one. I, I don't remember, but one of the IPAs we tried, this to me tastes very similar, just not as bitter. Since these are like Oklahoma brews, some of our friends from other states may not have access to these, but I'm sure you can find this just about anywhere at your local liquor you know, we say store. a lot of good things about beers, but like this one kind of has a weird aftertaste. Like I'm not really digging the aftertaste. When it first hits your tongue, it tastes fine. Going down, it tastes fine, but right at the, right at the end, it's kind of like kind of this weird, it's not terrible, it's just kind of weird. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you taste that? Do you think it'd be better warm or cold? <laughs> Wait. Cold. <laughs> would you pass or smash? Dude, I would drink that one too. You didn't answer the question. <laughs> I would smash. Smash that. This one I would buy. This one I would drink if it was there. This one I would drink if there was only IPAs around. I don't see myself drinking this one again. Okay, but. Like if you're drinking this, like we're, these are summer beers, right? So like we're sitting by the, we actually are by the pool right now, you can't see, but we're chilling by the pool, we're relaxing, we're hanging out. This isn't like a beer I'm gonna slam. Like just because of that aftertaste. Like is it's, that what we mean by smash? Like you just, just chug it. Well, what else do you do at pool parties? You I know thought smash? smash meant like I'll drink it. Like if I'm at a party, like normally I'm, I'm down in beers. <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. It's not a good downing beer, I guess is the point of that story. It is what it is. Okay, we've got three left. Oh, I thought this here. was our control. Are you gonna do this one? Okay, let's pop this top. We should have probably done the control first, no? Let me get a bottle opener. This one's expired. It's expired? Oh, wait, no. no. 21. <laughs> I thought I bought an expired beer. Check that bad boy. Oh. Get your bottle opener. Kind of, huh? kind of garbage. You just, you, you're doing it way wrong. You hold it like this and you... You learn something new every day. My bottle openers don't have that problem. They just open. All, All right. right. What? How do you say this? Line and Kugel. It's a Line and Kugel Summer Shandy. I got the bottle cap here. Not quite as golden as the other one. That was a lot of head. Oh. <laughs> Here's what the bottle looks like. Yeah, so I like Line and Kugel. They make a, uh, like a berry one that's pretty pretty bomb berry one this one's good right out of draft like if you're just like you're hot you just go to a restaurant you want to you want a cold drink that tastes good that it's kind of light refreshing well i didn't google is where it's at i've seen it a lot but i've never tried it never if once. you like lemon it has a very strong lemon like like taste it you're gonna know exactly i can it. smell lemon right now yeah. and i'm not even got it by my nose it's weird to explain but there's lemon there's some like fruity aftertaste that like, I almost think shrimp, honestly, like when I like think about it. Like a burnt cracker. It's almost, it almost tastes like you're toasty. It almost tastes like you're drinking like a 7-Up or something. You know how this one said toast, light, bready, and toasted notes? It's got them toasted notes, It's got right? that toasted notes. Do you feel like, like it's... Like wood. Yeah. Like, like meat and wood. Like, no, because that doesn't sound good. 
I don't you like think it? it's very good. No. You don't like it? Okay, no. I like it. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it'd be better colder, first off, and second off, of course, all these would be better colder. There's something there. That wood. It's it's freaking no, wood. It don't taste like wood. Dude, have you ever. No. I used to build furniture. Do you eat wood chips common? Is that no. a common thing? For no, you? but I used to eat, like, sawdust. You'd be, like, drilling and sawing, and you'd be like, oh. it gets in your nose and it just gets in your mouth. It's it's wood. Yeah. You ever had a wood fired steak? Wood fire grilled steak? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Taste that. Have you? Mm -hmm. no. I used to eat meat. Before your vegan days. Sorry if the lighting gets a little weird, guys. The uh, We're outside. We're outside. Clouds coming over. You it's know. Oklahoma. All right, let's try this one. This is a Saturday Siren. This is the first one I picked because I thought it was kind of cool looking. But Dave, it's Monday. What's up? Is it Monday? No. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Well, right? when you're watching it, it's, it's Friday. But Friday? Mm -hmm. uh, Nick D, if you are watching this, we want to use your song, uh, Fine Apple, for yes. this video, which we've already uploaded, so it's too late. Yeah, so but for our next video, because you know what? I like my water with lemon and lime too. And I like you. So this one's Saturday Siren. Uh, so it says inspired by weekly siren test. So here in Oklahoma, we actually have siren go off at noon every Saturday, like clockwork, for as long as I've like, been alive. Yeah. It's always happened. You know exactly when noon is here. It's kind of awesome, actually. This says Saturday Siren is a crisp and refreshing pilsner built for sunny days. It smells like an IPA. Yep. Right out the gate. Yep. It smells like an IPA. That's right. Yep, IPA. It's very IPA. Like, exactly like an IPA. Dude. Just not quite as bitter. It's, it's not made with the same stuff. <laughs> the IBU on this is 40. So That's pretty high. It doesn't quite have a like fruity overbearance that a like, IPA. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know what SRM is. Saturday remedial measure six. So you can drink six of these on Saturday if you're in remedial alcohol counseling, I think is what that means. Hayden, I'm gonna throw this in for a clip. Are you, like, you talking to me in the future? Yeah. That's so when you deep. watch this, you know. <laughs> Hayden, all right. So hey, like I know you vegans out there are looking, always looking for ways to have a balanced diet. My recommendation is to have a beer in one hand and a beer in the other. That way, it's balanced. Make sure you drink one, two, one, two. Otherwise, one will get too light and yeah. you'll be off balance. Again. You know the thing about beer? It's like brew, enjoy, empty, repeat. That's what beer stands for. Just saying, you know, talking to the camera. I remember on the office when Michael made the video when he was gonna ask Holly out or whatever? <laughs> no, like, oh, like it kind of vaguely remember it, yeah. <laughs> and he had a video for if she said no, and a video for if she <laughs> yeah, said yeah, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, Michael dance off. He's like dancing <laughs> himself on the computer. <laughs> that was so funny, dude. Uh, I love The Office. The Office is the best show. The ever. Office is my favorite best TV comedy series. ever. TV series of all time. Hands down, best comedy. I mean, I can't think of a better comedy at all. Not even a movie or Dumb and movie. Dumber. You like Dumb and Dumber better? But that, no. Well. <laughs> Saturday Siren, man. So this beer IPA. is kind of an IPA. It says it's a Pilsner. It's wind, it says wind powered on the back, so I don't know. If you like IPAs, you would like this. Yeah. It says dry hopped pills. All I'm telling I can you see this one messing is would you I drink up. it and would you drink it? I don't know. You drink a few of these, you're going to be like, Hanging over the side of this building over here, flirting with every chick around, probably. Yeah. I would probably pass on this one. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'd smash. It, so far, it's my. Yeah. And I like IPAs. Hay, Hayes is the one that doesn't like IPAs. I like IPAs. So you know my opinion. Yeah, I know you don't like it. For me, it's not terrible, but I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna buy it, and I'm not gonna pick it out of the cooler unless it's the only beer there, and I'm really wanting a beer. But I, honestly, even then, I probably just wouldn't drink a beer. If that was the only beer in the ice chest, I'd probably drink it. But only yeah, probably but to be alcohol. But to be polite. Oh yeah, they add that too. Yeah. I mean, I'd be polite. Drink their beer if they offered it to me. I mean, the best beer is a free beer, ain't it? Like, <laughs> like, what do you guys beer. think? Tell us in the comments. Best beer, or free beer? For You're me. gonna learn very quickly that my favorite beer is Guinness. My favorite beer? Yeah. What do you think? I'm gonna have to go with Natty Light. <laughs> We need to do a party beer shootout. That'd be cool. Party like, beer sucks, though. I know, but it's like... It's for the beer. Look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like if you guys out there are drinking Bud Light, like, this channel is not for you. Because That's not true. Bud Light is... This true. channel is for anybody who wants to laugh their asses off. Yeah. And, know and enjoys beer. But good. if you're drinking Bud, Bud Light, you don't enjoy beer. You're just trying to get fucked up. That's not true, dude. Who drinks Bud Light? 
Bud Light's not. There's a time and a place for everything. And it's name called one, college name chef one South serious Park. South Park beer drinker that There's actually likes Bud Light. There's a time and a place for everything. It's called college <laughs> chef from South Park. Boom. This one is called the Havana Affair. Havana. Havana. No, it's having an affair. Having an affair. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. But it's pronounced Havana, so. Having an affair is how I'm going to say it because it's funnier. It's a Pilsner and it says a crisp lager. So, so let's try this out. It smells like It's like fruit. chocolate. Did it hit chocolate? No. Do you smell it? Like, dude, 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 smell, dude, wait, hold on, hold on. Tell me you don't smell chocolate. That's the Snickers that were on your back. <laughs> no, dude, please. No, no, shove your face in. Chocolate, dude. <laughs> I 100% smell chocolate. I don't know why. It smells like chocolate, dude. Like, like very faint chocolate. You don't smell it? I don't know. It tastes like chocolate milk. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything. Not a lot of flavor. It's not bad. It's it's kind of good. It's like to be fair, kind of roasty. It's kind of warm. Kind of warm. It's warm, but it's kind of roasty. I feel like this actually, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that since this one doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, if it was really cold and you're outside and it was hot, it'd probably be really good. It, this might be the perfect summer beer then in that case. You know what I'm saying? Crisp lager. If you're like swimming or, and being active, you know, you don't want that real heavy flavored beer. I mean, I could drink that on a summer day. I like yeah. that. I, I like that one. I like these two the best. Very crisp. It's kind of the taste kind of hits you. I'm smashing this one. Taste kind of hits you and it kind of disappears, man. For summertime, I'd smash this, but any other time, pass. You want to go through and we can each kind of rank them as our How favorites. Would you rank I think I'm gonna have to go with the OK Pilsner as my first, or the OK Pils as my favorite. Okay. It's just kind of it's to me it's got like kind of an apple juice kind of flavor so it's really refreshing especially for like a summertime beer i'm gonna go with this one and my next favorite is gonna be this one they're gonna be very close they're actually kind of similar to me this one's just a little more fruity flavor uh from there i'm probably gonna go back over here to the modern frontier do you like this so far yep. yeah here we can rearrange them okay all right all and right. then and then I think... Probably just like that. No, no this is the worst by far. Uh, this is a toss-up, too. It could go either way. It might actually just depend on my mood. I said earlier that I didn't really like this one. However, it wasn't that bad. And it, it, it definitely has a lot of like lemon flavor. So uh, I agree with Gabe. Maybe if it was cold, I'd have a different outlook on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's probably my order, something like that. Maybe swap these two. Possibly swap these two. I'd have to try this one ice cold. Get a little warm. Yeah, try a little warm. So coming in first here, got the OK Pilsner second. I'm gonna do my Summer Shandy third. Wicked Easy, Havana, Saturday Siren. I'm sorry guys, the co-op. You did something yeah. wonky with this one, Dude, huh? I, I think they lost in the uh, IPA shootout too. Yeah, this is supposed to be a dry Pilsner like to enjoy, not an IPA. I don't know what you did there. That's probably how I would do it. They're not going to send us any beers. They're not going to sponsor us, apparently. <laughs> However, <laughs> Yo Anthem. Hit yo, me up. Oh, Yo Anthem, dude. We'll I sponsor. order that We'll try as many beers. You, you got new beers you want to try? We'll try them. Yeah. We'll taste test 100%. Put them on YouTube. Our, our honest around the world. review. Hey, Gabe, I got an idea. Okay, what's up? Dude, okay. So, we got a little bit of beer left in all these, right? Right. Okay, so, what I think we're going to do. Okay, what do. you got? I'm going to walk off camera. I'm going to close my eyes, cover my ears. You pick any one of these, pour it in my cup. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for you, and we're going to see who can guess correctly. All right, okay. Which it's a little guessing game. Cup. Yeah, which beer okay. in the cup. All right, guys, which one do I pick? Mm -hmm. Saturday side. People we'll guess. Um, uh, I don't know which one to pick. They all look so good. Um, which one do you think you won't guess? Uh, let's see the Saturday side and see if he guesses it. Well, I can already tell this by the color. That's that Saturday siren. All right, get out of here, bro. So you ready? You try yours, I'll try mine, and then we will see if we can guess correctly. Okay. They know the truth, so don't lie. You guys know. 
actually. Yeah, I stand on my answer. Okay, you're 100% right. I got you the uh, Saturday Siren. I didn't think you'd guess that, but I think. Oh, it's hard to tell. Probably. No, it wasn't these two. Uh, it's gonna be the OK pills there. Sure. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Nuh-uh. your favorite beer. Because this one was turned around, so I was like, it's probably this one. But that was my first initial guess because it was out of line. It was like yeah. that. Yeah, that was it. And I was like, oh, that's that one because it wasn't in line. All right, guys, well, this was our summer beer review. We really summer appreciate beer. you watching. Uh, we hope we picked a few good ones. Uh, these were all local craft beers to Oklahoma, so it might well, be a little bit hint. With the exception of these two, these were kind of our controls. Well, this was in Munich, Germany, so it's quite a ways away. Um, but yeah, Adams, where are they? Boston. 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 Boston, Massachusetts. So, we hope you picked a few beers. You guys can probably find these in your local liquor stores. Um, and Cincinnati. And Cincinnati. And yeah. Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania. The more you know. The but more uh, you know. If there's other beers you guys want us to review, let us know in the comments you know, below. Um, it really helps us out. We really appreciate it. We read all those comments. So if you guys want us, us to do stuff, just let us know. Um, also, go ahead and smash that like button if you don't mind. And, and subscribe if you find this kind of stuff interesting.